Keshe and Glorious Day. It's your favorite Afro-Indigenous healer, Tiana Rady Healer. And as you can see, I'm at a vendor market today. However, because Mercury is in a retrograde right now, I thought this was an opportune time to go ahead and speak a bit about the Mercury retrograde in and of itself. What is a Mercury, Mercury retrograde? What does that mean for me energetically? And what I can do during this time? So first, uh, Mercury retrograde right now is uh, from April 21st, which was yesterday, through uh, May 14th of this year right now. Uh, Mercury goes into retrograde about three to four times a year. Essentially what it is, is you know, the planetary systems rotate around the sun. I don't have a sun, so we're gonna use this pyrite. So as the planets rotate around the sun, Mercury will look like it's traveling backwards during a retrograde. So instead of continuing course as per usual, Earth actually passes it up. So it looks like Mercury is moving behind. Uh, this is a really good time to focus on uh, checking and rechecking your work. Uh, the phrase, getting your ducks in a row cross your T's, dot your I's. These are the phrases that uh, come to my mind when I think of a Mercury retrograde. You don't want to start anything new. So don't pursue uh, new passions. Um, just hone in on what it is that you're doing right now. Uh, so anything that you've already set intentions for, you want to focus your energy on that. You don't want to set new intentions. You don't want to... Um, create at this time okay this is a time for introspection release okay <clears throat> excuse me i took a couple notes here on some of the things that i wanted to talk about oh um so i want to talk about well what does mercury govern so mercury governs our communication our critical thinking um how we look at uh, life from uh, a uh, ethereal standpoint as far as divine messaging um, how we interact with external beings like our neighbors our family and friends family connections uh, just everyday stuff that we deal with on a regular basis so kind of take a look at the interpersonal relationships that you're dealing with right now I can tell you right now I've already fucked up uh, <laughs> And I let the retrograde get me uh, out of sorts. So one, the new moon was in Taurus. Two, we were in a Mercury retrograde. I'm a Taurus, so it, it was just bound for me to flip out. But, but I had to be knowledgeable, right? I have to be self-aware. So in this time, be self-aware of your attitude, how impatient you may be, especially since the moon is still in Taurus right now. Uh, but it's shifting, obviously. Um, be mindful of that if you're a Taurus. Uh, don't speak necessarily everything that's on your mind, even if it's a, whether it's a grievance or praise. Uh, think about it first. Recheck your thinking. Reframe your mind because we don't want to be overly sensitive at this time. You don't want to take things super personal because um, oftentimes, well allow those emotions to overtake us and we'll succumb to those urges of wanting to speak our truths or get back at somebody and the mercury retrograde is not the time for that clear out and release that energy okay um if you know about mercury mercury is considered a trickster god that's why during the retrograde when it's traveling and earth is going it looks like mars is going back it's a play okay it's an illusion Again, let's refer back to like if two cars are are driving and one is passing by, it looks like the opposite car is falling is going backwards, but it's just because you're continuing to pass, you're continuing to grow in your journey, okay? What you can do is a lot of cleansing, uh, focusing on the intentions that you've already set and just riding and weathering the storm, okay? Y'all stay blessed. Try not to stress and enjoy your journey.